Currently it is 9.20 a.m. in Iceland. We're going to be on our way to India, Delhi specifically. We have a layover in Helsinki. The first part of our Finnair flight is about three and a half hours long and does not come with any complimentary meals. But you sure can order something from their onboard menu. Look at this balancing act. The food stylist must be good at Jenga. Depending on your flight, options may include rye bread with salmon, an antipasto platter, chicken Caesar bagel, and oatmeal porridge. I'm good for now. Earlier I got breakfast at Keflavik Airport. Green juice made of broccoli, spinach, avocado, lemon, and apple and coconut yogurt with granola. Altogether, it was about 1800 Icelandic kronas. While there's no screen for each passenger and economy, a shared screen awaits. Might strain your neck, in which case there's also the window to enjoy aerial views. Just letting you guys know, if you sit right in front of the exit door, your reclining may be restricted. It's to prevent blockage in the event of an emergency. Called Blue Wings, this is Finnair's in-flight magazine. So what's hip and happening? Oh, swimming gear that allows you to breathe underwater. A pocket-sized vinyl player. Cute. A wireless charging side table. Whoa, scientists found a strain of fungus that is able to speed up the breaking down of plastics within weeks. And you could buy a nail filer adorned with Swarovski crystals. Currently above Norway, and one more hour until Helsinki. The frosty edges of the window remind me of Christmas. And now I want some eggnog. Hello, Finland! At the time, it was the end of June, thus why it is sunny. Six minutes shy of 1 p.m. We've got two and a half hours to kill at Helsinki Airport before heading over to Delhi, India. I'm kind of hungry. Let's grab some bites. Rye bread with bro. I think I need that. Laugh at me all you want, but I'm going to try to pronounce these Finnish words. Punajuri pumusta and sizas min siemenia. We're going to try three circular pieces of rye bread, each with a different topping. Which one shall we try first? How about the avocado beetroot hummus? The top is all very soft. There's like seeds in that. Oh, there's sesame seeds. Overall, the flavor is very light and likable. I feel like the salmon one is going to be the most flavorful and potentially the most salty. That one's got some crunch to it. Mm. This is tricky to eat. All three flavors are likable, but the smoked salmon wins my heart. Hmm, tennis balls in an ice bucket and tennis balls hanging from the ceiling. To go to the gate, we have to go through the duty free shop. A bold red line divides the path. Metallic wall art that looks like wrinkled paper. A hanging sculpture. Is it an abstracted plane? India, here we come. It's my first time and I'm super duper excited. All right. Oh, they have earphones right on the top of the pillows. One pillow, one blanket. It is currently 6.30 p.m. in Helsinki. Typically, they don't provide a whole water bottle like that. These are different seats. The back of it for me is less comfortable than the previous flight. But this one, it moves up and down and it bends. So that's a plus. This time, each economy passenger has their own entertainment screen. Oh yeah, time to catch up on the movies. The remote can go on vacation because this is a touch screen. Farewell, Finland. Next time, we shall spend many more hours together. When the seats are all up, there is a decent space bubble. When the seats in front of you are reclined, the screen is about a foot away from your face. Seven and a half hours to go. Eventually, we'll pass over Moscow. Our current speed is about 550 miles an hour. By the way, always bring a pen. It's common to fill out forms. Have you guys watched Tomorrowland? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Cool tub, bro. My travel partner got the gluten-free option, which happens to be the Thai green curry. A red pepper lounges on the bed of white rice. The curry comes with American-style puffed rice cakes. It's a bit different than the Korean puffed rice cakes. I believe this is a blueberry cardamom pastry. Baba hummus, handmade in Helsinki. As for me, I requested the Hindu meal in advance. One of my goals is to show you guys different types of airplane food and be culturally inclusive as possible. The main dish includes palak paneer and gobi kima. This meal also comes with the blueberry cardamom pastry. For a second, I thought this was grape juice because of the blue-purple packaging. But actually, it's lactose-free milk. A freckled bread roll and some butter to go with it. We begin with the greens. Raw and vibrant. Did you know cucumbers are actually fruits? It's got dill and fresh herbs, with a hint of vinegar. 
Let's dig into the star of the show. What a nice cube of paneer. Aum. Mm hmm. Sauce is peppery, slightly spicy. Definitely feeling that turmeric. As you can see, the plate color hints the turmeric as well. Onto the gobi kima. It has cauliflower with cashew nuts. Starts off friendly, then bam, the tongue gets punched with spice. All right, bread roll, you've been sitting patiently. Your fate shall now unfold. Gonna marry you with butter that looks like it has six pack abs. Is it too much butter? No point in judging, because butter and me, together we are shameless. The bread is far from addictive, but if you like bread no matter what, well, happy birthday. On to the milk. The purple packaging continues to make me think of grape juice. Simply put, I'm thankful it's lactose free. Might make a good pairing with a pastry. I predicted the topping would be like fake tasting strawberry jam, but it's actually a tablespoon of magic. It belongs in the category of fairy food. Watched Captain Marvel and whoa, we get another meal? This time I was served the vegan tofu scrambled egg with greens and mushroom. So crumbly, I like it. <sighs> Smells like an herby hash brown, probably because of these guys. The tofu scramble has dill. As for the semi-soggy hash browns, in terms of flavor, not bad. I can keep eating it. Yes, vegetables. A meal is not complete without you. Quite bland, but might be more flavorful on land. Plain and healthy is fine by me. Okay, so the tofu scramble is my personal favorite thanks to the herbs. Onto the seedy bread. Kind of amusing how seedy can mean different things. Oh yeah, another packet of six pack abs. The bread is dry, so the butter acts like lotion. I much prefer the seedy bun than the previous bread we had. It's got a flaky and crunchy exterior. The meal also came with pastel pink yogurt. The textured bits must be from the raspberry or pomegranate seeds. 41 minutes left until deli. And boom, we have arrived. What's in store? Stay tuned to find out. Next week we have a Christmas special, then continue the India videos in 2020. Namaste. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles. Actually, no notable outtakes, but wishing you happy holidays. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hope you've been writing nice comments on the internet because Santa is real.